Hello, I'm meteorologist Ray Greeley with the Great Falls Forecast Office. Welcome to the Montana Weather Hazards Briefing for the week of Monday, August 31st through Sunday, September 6th. For the most current updates, please visit the NWS webpage or contact any of the four Montana Weather Forecast Offices. A fast-moving Pacific weather system will move southeastward through the region on Monday and bring scattered showers to western and southwestern portions of the state. Some snow may be found on the higher peaks above 7,000 feet on Monday morning, but little impact is expected. Then a dry northwesterly flow aloft develops and brings windy periods, seasonably warm temperatures, and little chance for precipitation for the remainder of the work week. Windy, warm, and dry conditions, followed by a cold frontal passage, may bring critical fire weather Tuesday into Wednesday for locations east of the divide. A similar situation may occur Friday into Saturday. Cooler and wetter conditions are possible for the weekend, but uncertainty remains high for this far out. Here are some more details about the expected weather hazards this week. This includes impact, location, and timing. Feel free to pause this portion of the presentation for further review. Here's the latest drought monitor. Much of the state is running on a dry side with portions of southwest and southeast Montana observing moderate to severe drought conditions. Aside from showers over western and southwestern Montana on Monday, drier conditions are expected for the remainder of the work week. Better chances for wetter conditions may return for the weekend, but forecast confidence remains really low for this period. On Tuesday, gusty westerly winds, low relative humidity, and warm temperatures are expected to develop for locations east of the divide. A strong cold front is then expected to move from north to south through the region sometime on Wednesday. There is some uncertainty about the timing of this frontal passage, and that will heavily impact the fire weather forecast for Wednesday. If the front passes earlier in the day, then the impact may be a little bit less. However, a later passage time will result in more gusty westerly winds and low relative humidity for the greater portion of the day before the northerly wind shift occurs. A fire weather watch has been issued for the areas most confident to see critical fire weather conditions. This watch runs from noon on Tuesday through late Wednesday evening. Be sure to check in for any forecast amendments in the coming days. The current 8 to 14 day outlook suggests that temperatures will run above normal over the west and below normal to the east, while below normal precipitation is expected statewide. There is uncertainty on exactly where a high pressure system over the Pacific Northwest will set up. Cooler conditions can be expected if it moves further west over the Pacific. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local NWS office. Have a great week, everyone.